Hello everyone, Anita here and this is day 17 of the 30 day sketchbook challenge. So for today's picture I wanted to use some different colors than I normally do. Um, and I really wanted to get some kind of color scheme um, going. I wanted to use my acrylic pens in a different, well in a different way. In a different color combination that I would normally pick. And so I kind of am creating a, sort of a pattern, not really, it didn't start like that, I just wanted to do a tiny little sketches of desserts that I've spotted on Pinterest over the past few days and just stuck in my head. So I thought, you know, why not? It's a perfect opportunity, it's something different, I don't usually paint desserts. <laughs> and so I saw this little um, coffee cup with a squirrel cookie on the edge, like the edge cookie, one of those. Um, then there was a stack of, well, yeah, technically a stack of two pancakes or hot cakes. Or I, I think they are the same. Um, and they had different, like, sort of. I, I'm not exactly sure what that was, but they were kitty, kitty cookies, maybe. I don't know, something like that. So I've added some strawberries to that one, just just for the heck of it, because I really felt like drawing strawberries. I think it comes from yesterday's watermelon. Just for some reason, it's a fruit time. Fruit is kind of, for me, um, the sign of the summer. Now, Holland is not exactly fruit friendly. Um, the fruit, I'm used to, you know, in Poland, we have those little green grocer stores. I don't know how to say it. It's basically a fruit and vegetable store. They're really tiny most of the time. I grew up with those kind of stores and you, you could go there and in season you can get... Uh, I don't know, a kilogram of strawberries for one euro. And here in Holland, uh, okay, and let me just add that they were absolutely amazingly juicy and sweet and just absolutely amazing. And then my mom would usually take them, like buy uh, several kilograms and make jams and or juices because they were, this was this made sense that they were that cheap. Now, when I came to Holland, um, they have in Holland um market market days however we don't have a market day close by and that, uh, pretty much only market day is the time where you can buy kind of cheap like fruit and vegetables that are cheaper in the stores because in the stores they're absolutely from different galaxy at least in the stores that i go to and the quality is not that good they are really pretty fruit but they ha don't like I haven't tried a sweet strawberry in Holland yet. I did not have the pleasure. The strawberries that you buy in Holland are watery. They are extremely big for some reason. Like they're huge. And they don't have any taste. And yeah, that's just... I have them once in a while because I love strawberries, but they're just not the same. And so like nowadays, I, I've been planning to go to Poland for a while, but it keeps getting pushed because of reasons. And so I just, I miss it. I miss strawberries from Poland. I miss home. Uh, I haven't been in Poland for three years, I think. And I just miss it. I really, really miss that. So that's kind of like, you know, I, I just, I know it's a lot of meaning for strawberries. <laughs> but it's not only that, it's just the whole summery feeling that's coming over me. I just want to go somewhere. I'm sitting at home a lot, you know, you guys who are freelance illustrators, you know. It's just that that's the kind of life I just sit at home a lot and getting out is a treat. So yeah. <laughs> so as you can see, coming back to reality and the picture. The third picture of the bunch is a little I, I just I it was so cute. It was a mandarin um peeled in a way that some of the peel was left behind and looked like a snail. And I thought it was just genius. Of course, and the mandarin was um, a little like I made it into a slice just because it's more it's more aesthetically pleasing. But I still try to have that round feeling that I had in the in that photo. It was just absolutely amazing. <laughs> and so I'm just um, I'm not doing any shading here. I'm just using flat colors. And I picked up this kind of like a color scheme, and I'm trying to repeat those colors in all the pictures. So, for example, uh, the orange fruit was kind of like an, you know, um, an odd one out. <laughs> so I tried pulling on those colors into um, a little bit of the details of the cats and into the coffee cup. Just 
so that I could incorporate the colors. And then I had this genius idea of adding a dark background. Now, I have told you yesterday, I really was planning on making those pictures like a bit shorter so that they wouldn't take as much time. And as you probably imagine, um, this is not the best way of doing it. Now, don't get me wrong, it really helped the picture, it helped pull everything together. I just, let's be honest, a sketchbook challenge has nothing to do with real sketching. It's, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't really, at least in my opinion, and I am going to definitely talk about it at the very end, um, at kind of like a review video. Because there, this is not how I sketch, this is definitely not how I sketch, and I was thinking about it, it's like, what kind of image does that portray to people? Like, then, I have, since, like, since I can remember, I feel bad because my sketches are not as, uh, are not as beautiful as some artists are showing, and then I'm just doing exactly the same thing. And I'm showing you guys sketches, and here I'm doing, you know, quote-unquote, sketches, um, Air quotes, that's what I meant. <laughs> these are not sketches, these are mini illustrations. They're maybe not as perfectly like detailed as my normal ones, <laughs> because I really put a lot of attention to details, but these are like mini illustrations, these are not sketches. And so, yeah, I, I don't know how to, but on the other hand, I don't want to show you guys my sketches, because who would like to see that? That there is nothing absolutely, there, there is nothing interesting about my sketches. And so yeah, for now we we'll just uh, we should change the name to 30 Day Mini Illustration Challenge. <laughs> and um, the last thing, as you can see, the most of the um, most of this picture is the the background. And at that moment, I felt it was complete. I've just added a few tiny little details, some white dots on the strawberries, just a few bits here and there. And then I've added a little bit of that gold, uh, just to add some of that luxury. I like someone said that adding gold felt very luxurious in the painting and I, f I totally agree. It does add that really really luxurious feeling and as you can see I'm not adding a lot. I've just added it to the little leaf part of the strawberries because I really didn't want to add green and just added some dots here and there. And that's pretty much it guys. This is the Day 17. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, it took, again, much longer than I've expected, but that's how life is. <laughs> so thank you so very much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!